One of the greatest privileges God has given to human beings is parenthood. It has been said the most important person on earth is a mother. Throughout most of history, childbirth has been considered a painful experience. Without knowledge of what is happening to her from the beginning of pregnancy, the future mother looks forward to her first delivery with anxiety and fear. The memory of the first was seldom encouraging to face those that followed. Having a baby can be a happy experience. This is the story of an expectant mother and father going through the preparation for a childbirth program at St. Mary's Hospital of St. Louis, Missouri. St. Mary's believes through knowledge and understanding of what is taking place during pregnancy, labor, and especially at the time of the baby's birth. Both mother and father will be able to participate and share this wonderful experience together. Uh, we have found that if a mother understands... The second Friday of every month, St. Mary's Hospital holds an orientation meeting. Here is where the future mothers and fathers are given a condensed presentation of what is taking place before and at birth. The presentation is given by Sister Mary Caritas, director of the Childbirth Preparatory Program at St. Mary's Hospital since its inception in 1959. Because the door over on that end of the hall is locked at 9 o'clock in the evening. Now we'll turn off the lights and look at some slides. The first slide is a simplified drawing of the mother's uterus, ovaries, and tubes. Each month the ovary releases a cell called the ovum. If at this time the male cell unites with the ovum, it becomes a single fertilized cell. Already the sex blood type, who he will look like, and even the temperament of your baby is determined. In about seven days, it has become a cluster of cells and begins to attach itself to the lining of the uterus. Immediately, it begins absorbing nourishment from the mother. In the short period of 12 weeks, a miracle of growth has taken place. Your baby now has his arms, legs, fingers, and even his nails and baby teeth are beginning to form. The placenta is well developed. Through it, the mother's bloodstream brings food and oxygen to the baby by way of the umbilical cord. His heart has already taken over its vital role in life. By the ninth month, the baby is well developed, ready to be born. At the onset of labor, the cervix is long and thick and the baby has descended into the pelvis with his head crowding the pelvic organs. During labor, the uterus contracts, causing the cervix slowly to thin and then to dilate. Here the cervix has opened completely, permitting the baby to pass through. Now, the mother adds voluntary bearing down efforts to the force of the uterine contraction to carry the baby through the birth canal. Notice that the baby's head is turned towards his mother's back. The head extends as it emerges, presenting the smallest possible diameter to the outlet. After the baby's head has delivered, it turns. This turning of the baby allows the widest part of the shoulders to pass through the widest part of the outlet. Now the greatest experience has come, your newborn baby's first cry. He has been forcibly ejected from the comfort of his mother's uterus into the world of bright lights and harsh sounds. Circulation in his umbilical cord suddenly stops. He's on his own. His short legs, arms, and ever so big head, even though covered with a creamy substance called vernix caseosa, makes him the most beautiful child you have ever seen. The umbilical cord is now tied and cut, giving him his own independence. After the passage of the once so vital placenta, baby and mother are on their way to a well-deserved rest. All right, now, are there any questions? Mr. how do you know when you're in real labor and not in false labor? 
sometimes it's difficult to tell the difference. Supposing that you notice contractions when you awaken at night. Get up and walk around. If they stop, it wasn't labor. You can forget about it. But if they keep on, it's more likely to be the real thing. Or perhaps you're busy when you notice the contraction. Then as soon as you can arrange it, uh, lie down. If they stop, it's not labor. You can forget about it. If you keep on coming, it's quite likely to be the real thing. Now, are there any questions? What about medication during labor? This varies a great deal. There are, uh, depending upon how the mother is getting on. If uh, you feel the need of something, uh, feel free to ask. For those who wish and to go through with the classes and have the full cooperation of their obstetrician, four class lessons are set up to take place the last two months of pregnancy. At these classes, the future father and mother are shown the different breathing and physical exercises that will promote comfort at the time of delivery. A very important part of this program is the part the father can play in helping his wife with the concentration and confidence needed at this time. Knowing what is taking place and how to relax okay, with the different breathing exercises during contractions can make a most rewarding delivery. You will want to speed up just a little bit. All right, now I'll take a deep breath and raise my hand. That's right, and blow it out. That's fine. All right, take another breath and raise my hand. Real good. All right. Raise my hand again. Deep breath this time. Hold on to it and push with it. All right, and your elbows out. All right, now push down from the top, in from the side, towards the outlet. That's good. All right. Need some breath, air? Real good. Right back and push. Real good. All right. All right, now rest. Take a deep breath. And take another deep breath. That's fine. Good. Once more. We'll let you try it on the other side. Real tight. And let go. Right, just relax. Now, let's have you try it over there. That's it. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, let go. Let's see how relaxed she is. That's it. Now what we want to do is add the effleurage to your slow, deep breathing. And, and the thing you'll do is take your hands and just let them glide lightly over the lower part of the abdomen and then come on back to the side position. And the thing to do, you'll have to do this in rhythm with your breathing. What I suggest is that you want to take a deep breath now. All right. And blow it out. That's good. Just the massage as you inhale, get back to the start position as you exhale. That's fine. All right, now, that's fine. Just rest. That's it, Larry. You've got it just right on the rhythm. Now, again, oftentimes the girls like the effleurage, which is the massage of the uterus, it helps them to relax. And it is done by slowly putting, bringing the hands over the bottom of the uterus, just with the fingertips. The program presented at St. Mary's Hospital is based on the Pavlov natural childbirth method. Added are new concepts of supportive care during labor and delivery. The four classes at the hospital show what technique will be of help at the time of delivery. Three daily practice sessions of at least five minutes each are recommended in the home. Through the practice sessions, with the help of the husband, the future mother can learn to concentrate and respond spontaneously to a contraction by use of muscle release and the special breathing exercises. Okay. okay.
check my arms. Okay. The right chest for you. Put your arms over here. Okay. Just let yourself relax, Judy. That's fine. Good. I think this contraction's going away. Mm -hmm. Is it? All right, now just slow it down. All right, I think that's about over now. Is that gone? Go on. All right. And I think it might be easier. I think it'd be a little more comfortable if you try on your side this time. Do you want to turn over towards us now, now? Okay. Easy. Yeah. That's it. Easy. You're going easy now. That's it. All right. Now. Okay. You try the rapid breathing and I'll rub your back. Nurses who have received special training in the techniques used for natural childbirth are called coaches. They assist during labor and delivery. Starting another one? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'll help you now. Okay. I think this is going away now. You'll be needing this soon. How much? How much longer? Judy, time to go to the delivery room. In order for the husband to be present in the delivery room, he must have gone through the complete preparation for childbirth program and have the permission of the attending obstetrician. The future mother, through the medical direction of her obstetrician, will be conscious and able to assist in the delivery. The Pavlov method, while it agrees with the principle of conquering fear by knowledge, also makes use of conscious mental and physical control of the birth process. St. Mary's goes one step farther. Medication is used when indications for its usefulness are present. <laughs> Judy, do you feel like pushing in? Yes. 
you have enough friends here. Wow. That's the way. Tremendous. Oh, you're doing beautiful. Long fairy tree. All right, now that's going away. Second dress one is going away. That one's fading now. Okay, let's okay. self rest for the next one. Good. How did it feel, huh? Did you enjoy it? Oh. <laughs> Does it feel better when you push? Mm hmm. Is it coming? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. You can. It's a brunette child. Oh, is it? Uh-huh. No, I don't think it would. I really kind of a blondish one. I don't think the two of you got much chance. No. You've got blue eyes, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I wish you'd do that. I think one would be a, a gray-haired one. Okay, deep breath. Oh. No? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another one? Now hold this one and push. There we go. Can you see the baby in the mirror? You want to? Fix the mirror, huh? Push it real hard. Head back, let yourself relax. Oh, look! Now just stand. Just stand. Just look at the right now. See? Lots of black hair. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Another pain. Give me a little push. Don't push. Don't push. A little bit. A little push. Okay. Now let me do it. Good. Oh, 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 well, she's got a boy. She'll get a sister next year. <laughs> oh, not next year. <laughs> oh, 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 never, never had a girl doing this. Relax. You got your... I got my boy. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Oh, that is. Yeah, you've done all the work now, and I'll take it easy. Yeah. Uh, Is that your hands free? I can't see your face. Is your hands free? Huh? Can I? Yeah, you can hold, hold him through the sheet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm right under there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't cry. Yeah. You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now are you happy? Yeah. How's he doing? You look good. You have pink ears. They all straighten out. Oh my god, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. What is it? How's he doing? Yeah, right? Yeah. Kick him up there. I had a patient. Yeah. I had a patient refuse to go to this course because she heard that the women that went to it delivered so fast that their obstetricians missed the delivery frequently. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, you're making more noise out there, didn't you? Will you keep a hand yeah. on the baby now? Keep a hand on her? Uh -huh. yeah. Now this, this medicine is just a compassion. Yeah, you can give it. Yes, you can give it. I am. You know, it's only been an hour and five minutes oh, since I'm you so called please. me. Is that? Yeah, she called me at 12:30. Oh, 
137 now. Gosh. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, am I, when am I late, Shaker? <laughs> <laughs> well, the late reaction, you're a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot to be nervous before. Oh, I have to breathe. Yeah. Come on. Why can't you tell them about it? That's it. I think that's the blood You still got it? Yeah, you got it. What's his name? Michael. 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 Joseph. Michael Joseph. Hi. Little Mike. Ah! <laughs> What's your mother's number? Oh, this uh, Sterling one. Before I saw the baby, I heard him say it was a boy. And I kind of wanted a girl. And then when I looked at Mel, he looked so happy and he was so proud. I had all kinds of feelings. I was grateful to the doctor and my coach because I don't think I could have had that delivery if they hadn't been there to help me and, of course, my husband. I didn't know whether I could do this or not because I'm just not... I'm not the bravest person. It, it went much better than I thought it would. When I was in the labor room, you're so busy thinking about your breathing, and I was watching Mel, and he was breathing with me, and I knew everything that was happening because we'd learned all that. I knew that the contraction would only last for a certain length of time, and then it would stop. Of course, towards the end, they came fast, and they were close, and they were hard. I could feel a lot of pressure on my back. But I didn't mind because I thought, well, this means it's time to go. It was exciting, it was wonderful, but I'm not saying you could take somebody off the street to do this. But I had gone to classes, I had seen the delivery, I knew what to expect, I wasn't afraid. I was anxious. I saw this beautiful thing come into the world and I really helped do it. It was just wonderful. 